hello and welcome to the puppet training so we'll see how exactly we will install the puppet master and uh, this would be a prerequisite requirement to deploy puppet on uh, CentOS 7 <coughs> see we have already gone ahead and uh, installed the operating system at the same time we have uh, puppet master and puppet line which is there so let's uh, open up the configuration of puppet master and if we see here the processor should be four cores that's what puppet recommends and uh, the memory should be 4 GB for the puppet master and then we can start up the virtual machine and start configuring it we have the virtual machine which is ready so let's log in into that as root and now we'll go to terminal and uh, switch off the firewall and disable it now we need to disable SE Linux and define a name for this under the hosts so I'll just define get the IP address first 175 is the IP address We just have the FQDN name, <coughs> chain system name as well.
and once we have done all that just verify by defining it as host name okay so that was successful so we just <coughs> copy our uh, we will reboot this machine and same time we will copy the package which is required for us so the package would be I have downloaded the package <coughs> so we will say I have downloaded the package at this location now using rsync to copy this so we are more interested in uh, 3.1 mm, that would be for would add seven so we'll say enterprise three dot one hope now it has come back and let's try to log in as root into the virtual machine then check here still copying We have completed copying it, so let's untar it as of now by using tar xvzf. Get into the puppet directory. So let's run the script. Say yes. So it would take a couple of minutes for it to download. So 
wrong with me okay so now it has come back so let's open up this link what it has given opens with a browser understand the risk and exception confirm security exception get started monolithic so we'll just say it's master dot puppet dot krishna this is master so we'll give the admin password so looks good so click on deploy start deploying We'll just pause at this point and come back once we finish. Okay, so if you see right now, we have successfully installed Puppet. Once you click on start using Puppet Enterprise, so we'll, we'll start up the web GUI. So we'll log in with the help of the username admin and the password so successfully logged in <coughs> so you can see two tabs one is configuration and the one is nodes to provide you the node information <coughs> and you can see the certificates here under unsigned certificates <coughs> so that's all we have for the installation we'll see how do we install the client in the next upcoming sessions thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead